YouTube Nation, Main Event TV, aka Me TV, aka The Unstoppable Force, aka The Conscious Objector. And speaking of objecting today, today's video is a request from Big Baller J97, who asked me, Event, I'm having problems finding quality basketball shorts. Can you help me out? You know what, Jay? Don't worry about it. I got you on this one. So today, I want to talk about how companies, big name companies, try to tell you that you should get their products. This is the greatest thing pretty much since sliced bread. I beg to differ. All right. Now, look, I went to the Nike store not too long ago. There's the, just the price, just how the, the shorts were. And I saw that they had a pair of Jordan shorts, which was the best shorts that were there at the time. $40. You're crazy. There's no way I'm paying $40 for a pair of basketball shorts, all right? You smoking something. Even though Nike has a very, they're very reliable, very good quality shorts, just like Adidas. It, no, it's just no. I'm not paying $40 for shorts. You're crazy, all right? So, with that being said, I also want people to know, like I said, I was only pricing. I wasn't buying, all right? Just let you know. So, I'm with the Coles, all right? Now, I want to show y'all something. Look at that. $30, I don't know what I said. $30. Guess how much I paid for these? For these. $8. $8. Mark down. Why? Because I got these. Buy one, get one that's like 50% off or something like that. I don't know. $15, $8 on top of these. So, for the price of one pair of pretty much Jordan shorts, I got me three pairs. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, for those who do not, this is. Just to let you know, for those who do not have a Kohl's around them, you can get stuff online. And I'm letting you know now, Kohl's, the in-store Kohl's usually has, uh, ha has more of a selection and more of what you're looking for. So if you see a pair of shirts that you like on their website and they say you don't have your size, nine times out of ten, if you go to the store, they're going to have your size. Okay? Just give me all a heads up. Now, like I said, we here at Philly, we're a big basketball community. If it's not pro sports, then nine times out of ten, you will see everybody playing basketball. All right? It's basketball, then it's like football, then it's like baseball and hockey. I feel bad for hockey. But anyways, look, it needs more exposure. But when you want to go shopping for shorts, at least around here, you go to like Kensington Avenue. You know what I mean? You hit the strip. If you don't like going down Kensington Avenue, you can go to Foreman Mills. Which is, there's one in South Philly, there's one in Rising Sun Avenue, and there's one up in the Northeast. And don't discount Kmart either. They got some good stuff too. So there's plenty of places that you can get your money's worth. You know, you spend less money for exactly what you're looking for. Okay? Just letting you know that. Okay? Now, with that being said, I'm going to give y'all the keys to the kingdom. All y'all got to do is just listen. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm going to show y'all something. These shorts. Now... For those who don't know, when you buy shorts, you always, like I said, you always buy in multiples. That's the rule, all right? Don't be that guy. Yeah, you know who you are. That guy who says, I'm going to buy one pair of shorts and ball in them all week. No, you're going to stink by day two, all right? You're going to stink by the end of day one, all right? And don't tell me, I'm not trying to hear, oh, well, I'll, I'll just wash my shorts every night. Look. For as much as you would spend washing one pair of shorts every night is the equivalent. You could have bought you some new shorts. So you don't, so balls, never go looking for one pair of shorts. That's just ridiculous. You're actually hurting yourself in the long run, especially if there's some type of sale going on. All right? And, and please, balls, please, please do not machine dry your shorts. Let them air dry. Look, machine drying your shorts, depending on the fabric and everything, they can look faded. They can they can look beat up after two about two to three months. They can look beat up. And you ever had those shorts where you like them, but they start to do this and they start to turn up. And you gotta keep pulling. They keep turning up. Yeah, that's what happens when you machine dry your shorts. If you don't like to hang, I'm not saying go hang your shorts outside on, on a line or something. But like put them on your banister or something, or or you know your step rail, or step uh, was it your, your step rail, whatever, whatever. You put them there. Let them dry. This is why you buy multiples. And for the love of God, I'm telling you, I'm going to hold on, I'm going to get into it, hold on. I want you to see something. See these? Can someone tell me what's wrong with these? All right? You got a double hook here, but it's single here. You want to know why? Because people with their dirty ass went into, you know, the little, you know, the, 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 the fitting rooms and they tried them on, they tried them on and didn't like them and tossed them. Now, with that being said, I want to show you these. 
See how nice they look? See how, nice, how perfect they look? They're beautiful, ain't they? They look perfect. Why? Because the employees did their job, all right? Now, either someone tried them on or, you know, and they fixed them or they were never touched. That's what you want to do, all right? But bottom line, bottom line, wash your shorts. When you get them, wash all your shorts before you play in them. Don't nobody want ringworm and all kinds of nasty ass Fungus isn't carrying on who someone else said it, tried them on. Don't nobody want to deal with that, all right? Wash your shorts before you play in them. It's common sense. And, and it's hot out now, so actually, you can wash your shorts now, put them right on, and go out to the court, and they'll dry up real quick. All right, look. Anyways, I want you to show, I want to show you, look. I want to show you, we were talking about the fabric. The fabric and the clothes. Now look, I understand a lot of ballers these days, they, they like that, that silky feeling, and you should, because these days, that silky feeling, actually, it's made this way to protect you, okay? Now, I'm going to show you some Adidas shorts. Look how nice and shiny these are. See how shiny these are? You want to know why? Because that polyester, that silky feeling, they don't have to worry about the shorts back in the day with the, what's it, the mesh or the net. They would just pull at the inside of, the, of your, your leg hair. They would just pull and pull and pull, and it was a pain. All right, women didn't have this much of a problem, but men did. So what they did was they made these type so you don't have to worry about it. Now, don't let things fool you. Let me show you these. The outside here on the black has that rough neck feeling, all right? Has that rough feeling. But the inside is silky, so you don't have to worry about it. You want to protect yourself, okay? You want to be as comfortable as possible out there on that court, all right? Now, with that being said, Ballers who like to have long shorts, I, first off, I applaud you guys for wearing longer shorts. I don't need to see what the hell you're doing when you're jumping up in the air. Let me tell you something. When you measure yourself, when you get your shorts, you have to measure them. Now, you say I take a double XL, all right? But when you measure your shorts, you never say, hey, I'm going to measure it from here down. You do not do that. You measure it from here down, from the bottom of the band down. It should always be two feet before this, you know, I mean, after the band. And before anybody says event, I'm not going to measure my shorts when I get into when I get into the store. You don't have to. Look, when you put them up next to yourself like this, all right, when you put them up, you should see how they fall on you. If they come to the knee or where or lower, that's fine. But remember, when you unhook these and you wear these, all right, after washing them, when you wear these, that they will expand. You have to put them around you. So these will go up half an inch to an inch. So you have to adjust for that, okay? I have no problem with this. So, with that being said, long short guys, love what y'all doing, trust me, because I've seen some guys that come out here on the court and decide, hey, I'm just gonna get changed on the court with some new shorts. No, what the hell are you doing? Then when you look at them like they're crazy, they call you gay. What, no, no one wants to see your balls. That's simple, all right? Go get changed in the car what you came in. Have some respect for yourself, okay? Don't, don't give me this crap, it's thug, it's gangster. No, it's stupid, all right? You're a jackass, all right? Yeah, that's real gay. I'm real gay, but the fact is, this so-called gay guy baked you for 15 points in a game of 5-on-5 five five that went to 16. Yeah, D up and tell your story walking, all right? That's simple, look. Matter of fact, why don't you match me and get your clutch game up? But anyways... Ballers, if you have any other problems, what I've been saying, or you have any other, any other questions or anything, let me know. I'm always here to talk to y'all about things. So, it's nice out. I'm getting ready to get changed so I can go ball. So, <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Y'all be safe. I'm out.